Oh, I'm really good at making fart noises. It's a special talent. Welcome back. Life is a comedy. It just is. By the way, if you are offended by swearing, I'm going to bleep it out. But when I tell stories, I can't be like worrying about that. It just doesn't work. So I'm gonna just be straight with you guys. That's how it's gonna be. Cool? Cool. Get ready to hear some bleeps. As, like I said in my last video, I try and respond to all of your DMs. It's, it's a little overwhelming because once you respond, sometimes people just like try to keep talking to you, keep talking to you. And it's really, it gets a little stressful, but I, I appreciate all the love and I promise you, I will try to respond. I just haven't gotten to it yet. That being said, every once in a while, I find a DM that is just very interesting. And recently, I opened up a DM from a dude. All it says is, do you have dirty socks? I like dirty socks. This asking me if I got dirty socks. Like, first of all, who doesn't have dirty socks? Everybody's got dirty socks. I'm not saying that they're the right pair because like who can hold on to one single pair of socks? Like they're all over the place, black, white, whatever, blue. I actually love socks. That's the thing about me. I love socks. Brooke knows. She gets me socks. She got me socks for my birthday and that so awesome. I think you got me what, the Ninja Turtles? Like the tacos on it. Like it was, it was, it was dope. So at first I was like, who the f is this guy? And does he really think I'm gonna respond to him about these socks? But then as I started thinking about it more and more, I was like, you know what? I'm interested. Like, like, why does this guy like dirty socks? I, it, it, people fascinate me, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not judging anybody. Like, you like dirty socks? Cool, let's see, let's see how much you like dirty socks. So I respond jokingly to this guy being like, of course I got dirty socks. The supply here is good. Who doesn't have dirty socks? So then he responds, will you send me your dirty socks? Okay, I guess I shouldn't be surprised by this because like you asked if I had dirty socks, I guess that's the next logical step that you're gonna ask me to send you my dirty socks. Like that, that's, that seems normal. So again, I'm thinking, I'm not responding to this dude like this. I'm thinking it's just funny. You're, dude, this is so weird that you're DMing a random dude for his dirty socks. Again, no judgment, like do your thing, but I'm not gonna like go to the post office, mail you my dirty socks. You know, I, it, it's not on my to-do list of the day or at least regularly. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if y'all just regularly send your dirty socks to like random people, but I don't think that's like an everyday thing. But then I think you start thinking about it more and I'm like, the entrepreneur in me starts thinking, I'm like, man, I saw on Orange is the New Black that they were selling their dirty underwear. And if I could make a business out of this, like, Bam. So I DM him, I'm like, all right, man. I approached this from a very like business standpoint when I talked to him. I said, listen, man, if I go to the post office, I gotta, I gotta go there, I gotta put them in the mail, I gotta send them to you, I gotta pay for the stamp. You know, this, this is the whole thing. But if you wanna pay, you know, I might be able to do it for the right price. Now that sounds like prostitution, straight up. Like that sounded so like prostitution. <laughs> I do it for the right price. Man, I just sat in Brooks over here laughing. She's like, she's like, yeah, you sound like a prostitute right now. I'm like, yeah, that, that is the more I talk about this. But that's not the point, people. I'll send you my dirty socks, but like, I'm not sending them for free. Like, I gotta get some money out of this. It's gotta be worth my time. Good thing I went to college and got a business minor. What? Not that you need a business minor. Like, I honestly, like, college just taught me how to drink. But anyway, that's all getting off topic. Just trying to like feel out where he's at. I'm thinking like, unless it's something absurd, like $400, like I'm not gonna do that. Which like, anybody that pays for $400 for some dirty socks, like that crazy. He DMs me back. I gotta figure out where he's from. It's relevant. It's very relevant to the story. He still DMs me, by the way. It's so weird to have him in my... You know how this dude spelled sexy? This is hilarious. I have never seen anybody spell sexy this way, and I, I think I laughed out loud. He spelled sexy S-E-K-S-I. That's the funniest <laughs> I've ever seen. I know you're not from the country, but like, I'm gonna start using that. His, his, his English is a little broken. And by the way, I'm not judging him at all. Like, this is, this is hilarious to me. You do you. You got a sock, fe sock fetish? Good for you. I mean, that's a lot. You'll save a lot of heartache because I'm sure that people will send you socks a lot more than they're gonna give you their heart. That's for sure. So, uh, good for you. You on top. So this dude DMs me back and he goes, I'm gonna read it. He goes, would like to meet you. Would you like to come to Istanbul? I'm sorry, this guy kills me. This talk about Istanbul like it's a Starbucks in Santa Monica. Like how the f you think that's, you don't just say that that casually. Hey, would you like to come to Istanbul? Brother, I'm not hopping on a 
on plane to go to Istanbul. Taking happened in Istanbul. I'm not going to Istanbul to spend time with a person that I don't know who likes dirty socks. I mean, I don't know like what your criteria is for hanging out with people, but like that's not on the top of my criteria. I'm like, oh, people that like dirty socks from people they don't know. Can trust those people. I'm trying to figure out how to buy my next meal and we got flying people out to Istanbul for dirty socks. What the f is happening? This blows my mind. Who has the money just to throw away? You're like, hey, flying people out to Istanbul for dirty socks. You're like, okay. I'm, tr I'm trying to wrap my mind around the fact that there is a dude out there that is paying for people to fly to Istanbul for dirty socks. That's some like, that's just like, that's some movie that's gonna be the next romantic comedy. It's like, some guy's like, hits up a girl. He's like, yeah, girl, I like your dirty socks. Let me fly you out to Istanbul. They're gonna call it sock and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, dude, if you're watching this, I'm not coming to Istanbul. I know, it's very weird that I wouldn't wanna come to Istanbul where Taken happened. If you want my dirty socks, I'll sell them to you for $500. Life is crazy so that's uh that's today's story guys another day in the life of james and the weird that happens in my life so i hope you guys enjoyed this video because uh, honestly i didn't enjoy just reading the dm so i'm glad i got to share it with you guys more stories to come in the future uh, i wouldn't suggest talking to strangers about dirty socks it's um probably not super safe. So if you'd like to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Brooke makes me say that. Yeah, <laughs>